morning all. How about a career video to start things off today? So it's Vinnie Prospel. So born back left Prospel, comes over to North America, becomes Vinnie Prospel. He was drafted 71st overall back in 1993. It's a little while before he makes his debut in the National Hockey League, 96-97 to be exact. He would play 18 games that year, 5 goals, 10 assists, 15 points. In the playoffs, a goal, 3 assists, 4 points in 5 games. So playing 18 games the year before, he's still technically a rookie the following season. 97-98 plays 41 games with Philadelphia, but the production isn't there. Not at the same level it had been before. 5 goals, 13 assists, 18 points. And then on January 17th of that season, he is traded for the first of what would become a lot. Of just It felt like Prospel was moving every year. It really did. So January 17th, he's traded with a 1998 second round pick, as well as Pat Falloon in exchange for Alexander Degg. So Alexander Degg off to the Flyers, uh, Prospel to the Sens, and after that trade, 15 games, a goal, 6 assists, 7 points. So good production after the trade from Prospel. In the playoffs, however, no points in 6 games. So 70 or 98-99, not 78-79, 98-99, uh, in 79 games played, 10 goals, 26 assists for 36 points. So good production there. No points in four games in the playoffs, but the production's there in the regular season. This was the Sens team that was really struggling to get over the hump in the playoffs. 99-2000 in 79 games played, 22 goals. So his first 20 goal season, 33 assists for 55 points. Tremendous breakthrough season for him. And then in the playoffs, four assists in six games. This is where Vinny Prospel becomes an, an absolute nightmare if you have him in fantasy. He was so wildly unpredictable from one season to the next. 2000-2001, following up the 55-point season he had in 40 games with Ottawa, he had a one goal, 12 assists, and 13 points. So again, you know, that 55 points would have had a lot of people saying, hey, you know, this Prospel kid, he's, he's going to be good. He could score 60 plus, and he gets 13. And then on January 20th, he's traded. He's traded for future considerations to the Florida Panthers. That's how quickly that can change. Where you go from a player at 55 points to being traded for future considerations. And then after the trade to Florida, his scoring does pick up somewhat. In 34 games, 4 goals to go with 12 assists for 16 points. Uh, July 10th, then, he is traded to Tampa Bay for a 2003 sixth round pick in Ryan Johnson. Basically, Vinny Prospel was the hockey equivalent of that old uh, phase, fra phase phrase in the military, which is you don't you don't buy a house, you just you just don't. Um, I would see that you know a friend of mine would be like yeah, so my dad's buying a house because we've been here for four years, so he's not getting posted. And then a week later, we're going to Gagetown. Why are we going? They bought a house. So in Tampa Bay that first year, in 81 games played. 18 goals, 37 assists, 55 points. So it works out pretty well for him in Tampa. And this is basically the rule for the rest of his career. 2002-2003, in 82 games, 22 goals, 57 assists, which is fourth overall in the National Hockey League, and 79 points. Prospel has arrived. In the playoffs, he adds four goals, two assists for six points in 11 games. But he goes to the free agent market. So July 17th of that year, he is signed as a free agent by the Anaheim Ducks. So the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim in 03-04, 82 games played, 19 goals, 35 assists, 54 points. So not the kind of season that I think Anaheim had probably hoped for. He goes from 79 points to 54. And again, if you had him in your fantasy, just it's all over the place with Prospel, isn't it? Although you do get the games played. He doesn't get injured, so you get that part of it. But August 16th, after that season's done, he's traded. He's traded back to Tampa Bay. It's his second tour with Tampa Bay uh, in exchange for a 2005 second round draft pick. The thing that gets me with Prospel trades is just teams didn't have to give up a lot to get him. So 5 6 81 games played with Tampa, 25 goals, 55 assists, 80 points. How's that for consistency? 79 to 54 and then 80 but he's in Tampa and the last two seasons in Tampa he's had 79 and 80 points so that's some consistency in the playoffs two assists in in five games sadly the one season he misses here for Tampa is 0304 when they win the Stanley Cup so uh 2006 2007 rolls around he's still in Tampa Bay 82 games played 14 goals 41 assists 55 points wildly inconsistent indeed 
In the playoffs, he adds a goal with four assists for five points in six games. So 2007-2008, still in Tampa. 62 games played, 29 goals, 28 assists, 57 points. Look at that. He's back to almost point per game status. And then February 25th, because he has to be traded. He can't be in one place for too long. He is traded for a 2009 second round pick, which is used to draft Richard Ponick and Alexander Picard. So he's drafted or he's traded twice for guys named Alexander. Uh, and then after the trade to Philadelphia, his production stays pretty good. In 18 games, he has four goals, 10 assists for 14 points. So that's 33 goals in a season, which was a career high and remains a career high the whole way through. And then in the playoffs, a bit of a run for Philadelphia. 17 games, three goals, 10 assists, 13 points. So what happens after the playoffs are done? Yeah, he gets traded. Uh, June 18th, he is traded back to Tampa Bay for a 2008 seventh round pick and future considerations. So future considerations was traded here in the Ottawa, Florida trade, and now in the Philadelphia, Tampa trade, showing future considerations, has been traded quite often. So he's back in Tampa. Uh, 82 games in the 08-09 season with Tampa Bay, 19 goals, 26 assists, 45 points. And then he goes to the free agent market. So he's not traded, but he's to the free agent market, and he signs August 17th with the New York Rangers. And again, the production... It, it, it is very, very, very all over the place. Just not consistent at all. Uh, 75 games, 20 goals, 38 assists, 58 points. 2010-2011, uh, he misses a lot of games that year. Only plays in 29, but when he's in the lineup, he's very good. 9 goals, 14 assists, 23 points. He adds 1 goal in 5 playoff games. Other than the run here with Philadelphia, he was never on a team that had a really deep run. So... 2011-2012, uh, he ends up signing July 23rd before that season gets started with the Columbus Blue Jackets. So that's his seventh and final team. Uh, with Columbus, 82 games that first year, 16 goals, 39 assists, 55 points. So again, you know, consistently, you can, you can rely on him for about 55 points. He has 55 here, 58 here, uh, 55, 55, 55, yeah. There's a lot in there with the 55s, so yeah, basically that's what you can count on from him, and anything you get over that is a bonus. Uh, then 2012-2013, uh, he plays all 48 games, lockout shortened season, 12 goals, 18 assists, 30 points. Sadly, those last two years with Columbus, there's no playoff games to add to his record. And January 24th of 2014, so halfway through the following season, uh, Vinny Prospel announces his retirement. So, with a lot of different teams, and putting this together, it, it really felt like that fake uh, video I did on, on April Fool's Day a couple years back, where just different team every year. Uh, 1,108 games played by Prosper, 255 goals to go with 510 assists for 765 points. Good career. In the playoffs, 65 games, 10 goals, 25 assists, 35 points. Now, from a Czech perspective, uh, he, got, he helped uh, get them some medals, too. Uh, Olympic bronze in 2006 and in 2000 and 2005 world championship gold won by the Czech Republic and Vinny Prospel a part of both of the teams that were able to do that so successful career good player and he definitely moved around a lot didn't he let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through you just happened upon this video thank you guys so much for watching for all your support I will talk to you again soon.